to the show. If there's one takeaway from Black History Month, it's that white supremacists aren't feeling seen. Oh, trust me, we see you. <laughs> Turns out what they should be asking is what the hell months does being white even mean? I asked the Lucas brothers to find out more. Hey, we're the Lucas Bros. And today we're gonna talk about white supremacy. Specifically, how much these dudes love their Greek and Roman statues. The architecture of ancient Greece. I'm talking about something bigger. Your connection to a culture, a history, a destiny. Just go look at the Greek sculptures, and that's you. We love white people! We're white men! We did everything! Chill, dude, we get it. So we went down to the Met to learn about the ancient white history that white supremacists love so much. Oh yeah, like the movie. The Met has a lot of white statues and surprisingly lacks security. Whoa. Yo, look at these dudes. Well, here we are, the beginning of white people. Hello, white statue. Actually, Lucas Brothers, they were never white. Did that statue just talk? It wasn't a statue. It was this sharp-dressed dude. And he said he was the Met's head scientist. And he also said everything we know about statues is a lie. A white lie. Ah, uh, that's a pun. So, the ancient world was not like this. When you see white here, you have to imagine vibrant color. So marble was just a canvas that a painter would decorate. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I, this is just, I'm, my mind is Your blown. Your mind's blown, yeah, my mind's I can't, blown. This, this is crazy. This is amazing. They're nuts. They're not white. They're not white. They're not white. Was he saying that this entire museum of whiteness was actually supposed to be in color? They look white now, but it was a very diverse world. The skin tones in the statues would have been reflective of what was around the street. Are you telling me some of the people might have looked like us? Absolutely. I love museums! I love museums! God, I love it! The science actually shows that the statues were painted with a variety of skin tones. That's right. But the paint wore off by the time they were unearthed centuries later. So basically, we could have avoided racism if the Greeks just used some primer. But she's definitely a white lady, right? She looks like she's snitching on somebody. But if the ancient world was so diverse, how come these dudes use it to prove their superiority? Don't ask me, man. That's the white lady. Hey. Hey, white hey. lady. Sarah. Hopefully, white lady Sarah could explain why all these statues became fuel for racism. A lot of groups within the alt-right have looked to antiquity as a way of legitimizing what they're saying and what they're doing. These statues get used as a tool to justify racism. So alt-righters and neo-Nazis are trying to claim that they own all of ancient history, like, I'm Caucasian. I'm Caucasian. I'll be Caucasian. I'm Caucasian. I'm Caucasian. I'm Caucasian. I'm Caucasian. I'm Caucasian. Yeah, I'm Caucasian. I'm Aaron. Greeks had no conception of biological race. Of course, they see skin tone, but not in order to reinforce an idea of whiteness or blackness. Or well, how they know which culture to appropriate. Mm -hmm. you know? Um, I haven't asked. How did the cops know which chariot to pull over? Sure, the ancient world was full of slavery and oppression, but the fact is the idea of race never played into any of it until Europeans came along centuries later and used white statues to justify categorizing people by race. When you have just a monolithic picture of ancient Rome where everybody in your mind looks like a white statue, then that reinforces the idea that these were all just white people walking mm. around in the Roman Empire. Then how can we put the color back into our past? Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Yo, Lucas Brothers! Yo, Lucas Brothers! Yo, hey, hey, man. Another black person. Another black What's going person. on? Hey, how you doing? Brother, too, yeah. baby. That's what I'm talking That's what I'm about. Talking. Yeah. Hey, did you sneak in, Yo, too? you sneak in, too? No, no, I was invited. I have, like, four degrees. Wow, that's one for each of us. Plus one for that statue over there. Whiteness is not skin color. Whiteness is a system of oppression. You damn right it right is, on, brother. brother. Yeah. Right on, brother. Right but, on, but, yeah, right but on, I actually, yes. but I'm serious, though. It literally is not a scientific thing. Okay. Hmm. Whiteness is really an invention that white people came up with to categorize people. There you go. You invented something. That's great. <laughs> Happy White History Month. But the funny thing about whiteness is, who's white keeps changing. It was like, first the Irish weren't white, then they became white, mm. Italians weren't white. So it's almost like a, a, like a minor league system for whiteness. You gotta start off and then you get moved you up You gotta to start the off a press. Oh. We're gonna be white in no time. <laughs> I wouldn't hold your breath. So it's almost as if these white supremacists aren't superior. Yep, that checks out. So if race is a construct, mm -hmm. can we still be black and proud? I think we can be proud of the way that black people have survived 
you know, even though we got organized into these categories, oh, first they start organizing the statues and then they start organizing institutions, education, criminal justice, all around whiteness. Mm. So we have to undo this world that whiteness has created. Wow. And we've got to learn to see the past in full color. You know what he means? Of course I you know do. what you mean. <laughs> History of whiteness. Man, this stuff fucks you up. Stickers are pretty strong, huh? Very strong. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's racist? Oh, well, that's... he doesn't know what racist. No, okay. no, no. Uh, uh -huh. They don't like, um... Uh... Us? They don't like us. Oh, like twins? No, not twins. I have no idea what you're talking about. Have you seen the rest of my penis? <laughs> the ancient world was full of color. Whiteness is a construct. It's a system of oppression. It's an excellent point, brother. Seriously, guys, I used to have a penis. I guess history really is way doper when you see it in every color. <laughs> and when you're stoned as fuck. Man, can't believe we did it. What? We saw racism. I don't think so. Well then fine, I saw Grace. What, I don't get credit now? We'll be right back.